from waste. These are carrot tops. What we're going to do is put them in a shallow dish, plate, tray, and just put water in and allow them to sit in the water. Put them in a warm spot in the windowsill or something, and then in a few days they should start sprouting new greens. And when they sprout new greens, we, sh we should then be able to plant them and turn them into carrot plants. And some peelings. So what we've got is I've got a carrot which has started to sprout. So what I'm going to do is let this grow to gather the greens off the top, which turn into a nice big bushy thing, or allow it to seed ready for carrot seed for next year. Now the greens on the top weight for weight have got six times the vitamin C that the carrot has but unfortunately they don't taste anything like, like as nice as a carrot but this is a way of getting some food or seeds from waste food and of course it's um, it's all for free then so I'm going to take a pot with some earth in it here, and just put the carrot in so as it's only got the, the very top of it sitting out. That will allow it to uh, to grow. It should put new new shoots out, new roots, and carry on growing. Again, we'll come back and see how that's doing in the future. So here we are a week later and the soft carrot has put on lots of growth. Uh, these carrot tops are edible, although they don't taste very good. They do have six times vitamin C than the carrot does. But we're going to keep these growing for a bit longer, and I'll use these probably for seed. But there we go. We'll have seeds from waste kitchen. Kitchen waste. Here we have carrot flowers which will produce seeds and then they'll be collected and saved for next year to plant for more carrots and this these seeds came from an old carrot which was in the bottom of the cupboard and had gone soft and was no good for eating anymore so that was planted and then allowed to grow and has produced these flowers which will then produce the seeds. Now here we have another carrot. This was an experiment to see how far it would go. It's producing flowers. So hopefully these will produce seeds. And this was just the top of a carrot that I ate. I cut the top off with the greens, ate the carrot, and then just put this one in the ground. And actually, that, that's pretty much all of that carrot top you can see there. That's all there was. And it's been allowed to grow and produce flowers and hopefully seeds and then we can plant the seeds from a carrot that we've already eaten so collecting the carrot seeds so what we'll do is we'll cut the cut the heads off put these in a container and we'll let all the little seeds fall out and collect them So we take the flower heads, which are partially dried, and we just roll them in our fingers. The seeds fall out, but they are so tiny. And then we can keep these plant whenever we want. And that's carrot seeds from a carrot that had gone soft and was not edible. It was planted in the pot, allowed to grow, set seed 
and now it's composted back into the ground but it's given us all this carrot seed in the meantime so from one carrot that was no use we have literally hundreds of seeds so here we have some carrots grown from seeds so In there, nice carrots, good size, and grown from seed and ready to be harvested at any time. Now, these were grown from seeds which were taken from the carrots which I let go to seed. Uh, and one of them is going to seed again. So, we should be able to collect even more seeds. And hopefully still have a carrot on the bottom of that that's worth having. 